What's good everyone, it's Steve from Sneaker Tech Talk back with another video today. And for today's video, we're gonna take a look at the recently released Air Zoom Flight 95 in the true red colorway. So starting off with the box for the Air Zoom Flight 95, it's really nothing special. This just comes in the standard red and white sportswear box and it reads Air Zoom Flight 95 in white, true red and black and I did get these in size 11. All right, so starting off with the shoes, obviously you can see here we do have the Air Zoom Flight 95 in the white, true red and black colorway. Now this shoe back in 1995 did gain a ton of popularity from Jason Kidd. He was wearing the shoe in the black and white with kind of like the checkerboard carbon fiber print on these three circular or ovals here, and it did have it on the bottom as well. But as you can see here, we finally have a retro of the true red colorway. This is probably my second favorite colorway next to the black and white pair. But that black and white pair has retroed a few times, I believe in 2008. And I want to say in 2015 for the 20th anniversary. But as you can see here, 27 years later, we're finally getting the white and true red pair. Now this pair gained some notoriety or popularity from Brent Berry. I believe it was 96, I could be wrong, maybe 95, but he did wear these in the slam dunk contest. Uh, most notably, he did dunk from the free throw line while he was still wearing his warm up. Um, and I believe he won the dunk contest that year as well. I could be wrong, but I'll throw in some photos here of him wearing this pair. And for me, this is just such a clean pair of shoes. The white and red just really pops out it's just very vibrant and it's just such a clean look in my opinion. And I'm very happy that these are finally back, but it doesn't come at a cost because the retail price for these is 160 USD, which to me is very steep. Here in Canada, they did retail for 210. Um, I was able to get these for, I believe it was 25% off my size 11. Um, so I'm definitely happy that I did get them on discount, but nonetheless, it comes at a steep price tag. But other than that, I do just want to touch on some design cues on the very nostalgic Air Zoom Flight 95. So starting at the bottom of the shoe for the traction on the Air Zoom Flight 95, as you can see here, it is kind of a horizontal, almost wave pattern, um, right from the toe all the way to the heel. How these perform on court, I'm not sure because I have never played in the Air Zoom Flight 95 on court and I don't intend to anytime soon because for me, this is just gonna be such a clunky shoe on court. This shoe is for nostalgic purposes and just to wear casually for me. Um, but you do have that wave pattern at the bottom. You do have this Nike swoosh here and that is a plastic shank plate here at the bottom as well for some torsional rigidity. This shoe is very supportive, not only at the bottom, but when you move your way up, you do have this Phylon midsole that is very exaggerated up onto the midfoot of this shoe. So on hard lateral cuts, if you were to play in this or if you played in this back in 1995, for me, I think it's gonna offer a ton of lateral support just because of that midsole that wraps up, coupled with these oval, these plastic ovals here. It's just gonna offer a ton of support, but it's definitely a pretty crazy design cue. It's almost like you have these massive bug eyes on the side of the shoe, but it's just such a vibrant shoe. And to me, I know a lot of people are gonna hate these because they're very clunky, as you can see here in the heel, but nostalgia is a crazy thing because here I am 27 years later, being super excited that they've finally retro this white and red pair. But moving your way up from that, you do have this almost like patent leather mudguard, but it's kind of a checkerboard pattern. And sitting atop of that, you do have this embroidered swoosh. Definitely a clean look with that white swoosh. And then moving your way to the back, you have that flight on the back pull tab, as you can see right here. On the medial side, you just have the one oval kind of bug eye, whereas on the lateral side, you have the three big or two bigger ones and the one small one. These do have a traditional lacing system, as you can see here, and the laces are checkered. They're predominantly white with some red checkers going on the laces. And then you do have this little 
kind of faux air vent because it is pretty heavily padded there with some red backing, but the tongue is kind of a mesh as you can see here. So I think that's the only place you're gonna get some breathability in this shoe because the rest of the shoe is made up of a white synthetic leather. Now the quality of this leather, in my opinion, is very poor. The materials are very cheap. Um, honestly, I think Nike just kind of threw these out there because this material here is just very flimsy and honestly, it's more or less really bad materials. Even this red portion here, it's just a very flimsy upper. But for me wearing these casually, um, I don't really want to just kind of bypass that materials are bad, but I'm not going to be playing with these on court and these will probably get worn very sparingly. So you're kind of get, I don't want to say you're getting what you pay for because the price tag is rather high, but it's Nike sportswear. I know they cheap out on a ton of retro basketball shoes. It's very disheartening because growing up as a kid, these came out when I was seven and I remember seeing these out and about and I've actually held an original pair and the upper for materials on the pairs back then were fantastic. But here, 27 years later, I can't say the same, unfortunately, but that kind of covers the overall kind of aspects of the shoe for materials, traction. Um, inside the shoe, you actually have a four foot zoom airbag, just like the originals. So you do have a pretty large volume four foot zoom airbag. And then in the heel, you just have a airbag, an encapsulated airbag in the heel. So as far as comfort goes, I did have the 19, sorry, 2008 pair of the white and blacks. And for me, I wore them quite a bit. They were very comfortable. I did end up letting that pair go. But for me, the Air Zoom Flight 95 was always a pretty comfortable shoe casually. Back then I was working at Foot Locker, so I wore most of my shoes casually back then, but I'm looking forward to just getting these on foot and wearing them possibly throughout the Christmas season, honestly, because it's just such a vibrant shoe. But let me know down in the comments what you guys think of the Air Zoom Flight 95. Obviously, Jason Kidd made this shoe very popular. It wasn't officially his signature shoe, but he did wear it very heavily back then, among with a ton of other players, just like Brett Berry. And for me, this colorway, honestly, it almost takes the cake for the best pair. Um, one other thing I did wanna to touch on is this is kind of like the low or mid top version of the Air Zoom Flight 95. Um, I will throw up some pictures, but there was a very high top pair of the Air Zoom Flight 95 where the back of the shoe extended like this much higher. And for me, that pair, I don't care if they ever release personally because I just would never wear it and I couldn't see them selling any better than these. And these just kind of popped up on Canadian websites and they're already on heavy discount. But for me, I prefer the mid or low top version here. But like I said, I will throw some photos up of that really extreme high top version of the Air Zoom Flight 95. So that's going to do it for today on my video of the Air Zoom Flight 95 in the white and true red colorway. Let me know down in the comments if you have picked these up or any of the other colorways. I will throw up a couple slides real quick of the other colorways that have came out so far. But for me, this pair and the white and black is pretty much all I need right now. Um, but let me know down in the comments if you guys like this shoe, if you think it's just too outlandish. Back in 95, obviously Nike basketball was throwing out some pretty crazy design cues. And for this one, it's really no different with that big oversized swoosh on the toe. But for me, it's just a very nostalgic shoe. And I'm happy that this colorway finally made a return. But let's sound off in the comments, honestly, if you feel the same, or if you think this shoe is just horrendous. As always, stick around for the on foot portion of this shoe right here at the end of the video. But as always, if you guys could like, comment, and subscribe, that helps the channel out a ton. Stick around for the on foot portion at the end of the video, and check out my Instagram over at 23MJ88, as it is an extension of my YouTube channel with all my pickups, behind the scenes footage of the on foots, basketball footage, and just nostalgia as a whole. But again, thanks for watching today's video and until next time, peace. I'm in line with the stars, I'm in sync with the earth. Ten toes deep, flower child from the turf. I never switch sides, like even when I die, I'm a ride for the squad, lot of ties in the hearse. I've been on a vibe kinda hard to describe. I'm in between, I'm good and it's fine, but I'm tired of the grind. Then I come alive in the night to realize I'm in the middle of the time of my life. I never